outdoor edition with plenty of drama, maybe some hair gel, and I don't know, maybe some pollen and they sound like me. Who knows? I'm excited for another round of MMA this Saturday. Prelims are going to start at 6. Main event is going to be at 10 p.m., so plenty of time to prepare. But a few fights that I'm going to talk about. First up is Jessica Andrade versus Jan Zaunan. Now, Jessica, she's coming off of a loss against Aaron Blanchfield. Jan is coming off of a win against Mackenzie Dern. However... Jan likes to let things go to decision, and we all know how bad of an idea that is. You never want it to go to decision. You don't want the judges to be deciding who wins these things. Jessica, however, does not. She likes to either submit you or knock you out. I think that's what she's going to do in this fight. I see Jessica, even though she's coming off a of loss, I think she's going to end this with a W and end it early. I could see her maybe doing something sneaky. Now, both of these women are fast. It's going to be a crazy fight. But I can see maybe Jessica coming out with some kind of sneaky punch. Or, who knows, she might submit her. But either way, give me Andrade for the win. Next up is the co-main event between Bilal Muhammad and Gilbert Burns. Now, Bilal, he is on an eight-win streak. Gilbert is on a two-win streak. However, there's been some talk around town that... Bilal may not mentally be as prepared for this fight as Gilbert is. Gilbert wants this. He is ready for this fight. Bilal, however, may not be. He was a little hesitant. There was some kind of weight problems, I guess. I just don't think maybe he's all in as Gilbert is. So, you know what? I think Gilbert might come out, wear out Bilal a little bit, and maybe do some kind of sneaky submission. Who knows? But either way... There'll probably be plenty of drama because, you know, Bilal's involved. But give me Burns for the win. Come on, Gilbert. And on to the main event. Wow. Aljamain Sterling versus Henry Cejudo. Now, Henry has been gone for three years. Yes, he took a three-year break. He's coming back, though, 36 years old. Wiser, maybe. I don't know. I guess we'll see on Saturday. That is gutsy to say the least out Jermaine, he is coming off of an eight win streak henry he did have a six win streak before he took that three-year gap i just don't know is three years a little too long to be out of the octagon and expect a win when you're back in we did see some crazy stuff with john jones but that was also john jones so I don't know. It might be a lot to ask for Henry. I know Aljamain has an almost four-inch reach advantage, and we all know how important those are. So, it's going to be tough. Uh, Aljamain did just beat crazy-ass TJ Dillashaw in October of 2022, so he might be, uh, you know, still on that high from that win. I don't know. I would love to see Henry win. I think it'd be a great story anyway, but... I kind of think Al Jermaine's going to come out with a win here. So, I don't know. Maybe you disagree. That's totally fine. Let me know what you think. If there's a fight that you're more interested in seeing or hot take that you have on anything that's on the card. Like I said, I think there's going to be some upsets on this card. But, who knows? We'll see. Leave a comment below. Like, subscribe. Do all those fun things. Let me know what you're thinking. And, uh, I'm excited for another weekend of MMA. Let's get it. Oh,